Hi everyone, this is Love Crafty Girl. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing the weekly spread in my happy planner. Now, there is a Black Life Matters planner challenge going on this week and I wanted to be a part of it. Now, last night I was looking to see what it was that I needed to add for this week to be a part of the challenge and it says, decorate your spread for the week of June 8th through the 14th in black and white only. Include uplifting quotes by inspiring black leaders. And then Victoria Thatcher posted saying that she was making a free printable to go with the Black Life Matters Planner Challenge. So I printed this out this morning and here it is. I'm going to go really slow so you guys can really look at the, at the printable and the beautiful sticker she made for this. And I love it. It's so pretty. Now she did um, add three quotes. One by Rosa Parks one by Michelle Obama, and one by Muhammad Ali. So that's great. Now, the only thing I need to go look for in my stash is black and white washi tape and black and white stickers. So continue watching to see how I put this spread together. So I first placed the bottom quote on the page and now I'm going to go ahead and place my washi tape. Now being that this is going to be a black and white spread, um, it's kind of throwing me off because I'm so used to color that I have to do things a little differently just to make sure that it sort of balances it out for me as I'm visually putting this one together. So I thought why not use this pretty um, lace. This is from Daiso that I bought last year. I know they still carry them because I've seen them before but I am out of this particular size so I have to make a note to myself that when I do go back to Daiso to repurchase this one because it's really gorgeous so I'm going to go ahead and place it at the top now I'm going to go ahead and place this other washi tape this one I bought in a set of I think they have six of them they're all black and white um lace type of washi tapes um I got these I think on wish um the only thing is I have to clean the sides of it because there's sometimes some extra glue so when I pull it as you'll see here it tears it so um I had to clean the sides really well making sure there's no glue stuck to the edges so that when I do pull um, nothing gets caught and then pull to tear so I'm gonna go ahead and um, do this now uh, place just a two here in the middle and then from there I'm gonna go ahead and start working on um, I'm gonna do the column one first like just right putting the stickers there first before I start working my way inside the page this time around so I'm gonna go ahead and place this sticker and then the three stickers under that and then from there I'll go ahead and place the three stickers inside the first page So now I'm going to go ahead and place my Days of the Week stickers and I'm not quite sure if they're going to last long on top of the washi tape because this washi tape is plastic. Um, so I'm not sure if the stickiness of the paper will be enough to keep the sticker down. Uh, but in case it doesn't, I will bring my glue stick and put a little bit more glue on it just to make sure it stays put. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the second page and from this one, since I already know the layout of how I'm going to be placing the washi tape and the stickers, um, I don't have to be um, overthinking it. I can just go ahead and start placing them as I go. So I'm going to I work from the from the bottom all the way up and I place my sticker at the bottom first and now I'm going to go ahead and place the washi tapes uh, that go in the middle and then the lace washi at the top.
Now that I'm done placing the stickers and the washi tape, I'm gonna go ahead and decorate the white boxes. And I'm gonna use these flowers. These are actually made of um, newspaper and I thought it'd be kinda nice to add a little something to each of the boxes. Since I couldn't find any other black and white stickers, I figured this was a perfect one because it is pretty much black and white. So um, it doesn't bring any stickiness to it. I have to actually add um, some glue to it. So I'm gonna have my glue stick on the side and I'm just carefully placing some glue on each of, of the sticker of the flowers because they're really easily to tear uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and place them each into a white box and then from there I'm going to go ahead and add two like not two but probably one little sticker of a hexagon like it looks like a dot but it's not it's actually in a hexagon shape dot on each of the squares at the bottom and then I'll be done So here's the final look to bring of the weekly spread. I think it came out really beautiful. It's gorgeous. I mean, even the touch, the changes that I made off camera just made it perfect. And I'm gonna talk about what the changes were. So the first thing I took away was those black dots I put here, I ended up putting them in here. I felt like it was better off to keep it more busy here and less at the bottom. So I ended up putting the black ones here. I didn't have enough for all of them, so I ended up changing it up for the weekend. Um, I also had leftover lace, and I didn't know what to do with it. It wasn't that much of a lace left. It was about that much left. I thought, should I throw it away? Should I save it? And then it came to me, why not just use it in this spread? So I ended up cutting it in half and put it here at the bottom of this area. I removed the two hearts that were here at this area, adding the third one there. And I think that was what it needed. It needed a balance from the lace at the top with the lace at the bottom, and it's perfect. Overall though, I had a lot of fun putting this spread together. I think it came out really pretty. Now I will have a link to Victoria Thatcher's blog if you're looking for this free printable. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. So don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.